Hi there, space engineer. Welcome to Astrocraft. This is your core robot. You can control it to embark on your own journey of adventure and exploration. You can install all kinds of modules on it to build a powerful war machine, and then use it to defeat your enemies. Of course, there's more to this adventure than just fighting. Create, customize, let your ideas fly, and share your designs with the world. So, where shall we begin? Hello there, welcome back to my channel once again, and today what we have with us is Astra Craft, a brand new first person shooter robot game by the Chinese company NetEase. For those that didn't know, NetEase is quite well known in the mobile game industry, which had released quite a few big titles, namely Creative Destruction, Rules of Survival, Marvel Super War, Identity 5, and a couple more. They also released quite a number of Battle Royale games so first person shooter is no stranger to them. Looking from the tutorial alone, I'm already excited. I mean, as a kid, we loved LEGO, at least for my era during the 90s. And guess what? You literally can build your own robot any way you wanted it to be. Although there is a limitation on amount of weapons and parts you can mount on it, still pretty good in my honest opinion. More parts could be unlocked as you play through the tutorial, of course, part does affect the tankiness, mobility, and type of attack you have on your robot. Certain parts will even affect how high your robot could jump. You are allowed to modify or repair your robot after a certain amount of time for not taking damage. Thus, even in the heat of battle, the type are easy to be reversed if either of the players are not cautious enough. There are also different moods to be played as you progress through the game. So far one of my favorite is the rumble, which technically is a battle royal where parts need to be scavenged. Thus you are always required to upgrade or modify your robot on the spot with the risk of getting flanked by the enemies. So what are the downsides of this game? This game just released last week, so it's still pretty new. There will be certain weapon or parts which is overpowered. You will meet players that abuse them eventually, which this kills the fun and credibility, which is the very essence of this game Strike 4. Other than that, this game is pretty good in my opinion. It works flawlessly on my device and also runs at 60Hz despite the graphic setting is pushed to the highest. That's it from me, I will leave more gameplay footage for those of you that wishes to see more of it. Leave a like if you like this video and subscribe if you are new here. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it and I will see you guys in the next one.
three minutes until the end of the match.